get down and do a little bit better the second half offensively? Uh, I mean, I, I, I to, to get to, I think, what we have? We had 42 at half, so and I don't think that, I think that's pretty good, especially I think teams have been averaging 60 points a game or something. So, uh, uh, you know, it's it's something it's it's difficult to prepare for. Uh, you don't play teams other than Syracuse usually that plays, and the Huskies used to do that, uh, but they're not so much anymore. Uh, play 40 minutes of zone every possession. So I, I actually thought we did a really, really nice uh, job of that. I think we were right around 1.23 or 1.25, and that's a great uh, OER for us. So, you know, still turning the ball over a lot, but this team creates a lot of turnovers. I mean, that's uh, Mary Mac does. If you try to get the ball to the high post, they attack it. And, you know, they attack it in the low post and, and bounce out and make you feel uncomfortable. Uh, but I, I was happy with that and happy with our – I thought our defense was much better in the second half. In like the first 10 minutes of that second half, there was just, from what I was seeing, it was a lot of urgency. Did you, did you see that? I mean, we jumped up and made some shots. I think Jules uh, found a couple threes in that stretch, or at least one. And again, I, it was mostly defensive driven. We were rotating over. Chet was doing a nice job of protecting the rim. And, uh, you know, we did a nice job on the glass also, especially, uh, you know, for the most part, giving them one and out. And, uh, and then I think we were able to actually kind of get out and run a little bit and play with pace and not just play in the half court. Mark, Mark Jones said that you know, yeah. for the most part, uh, was out of yeah, he does. Miner's a nice player. He puts foul pressure on you. He's strong, and he can score around the basket, but he can drive you. And he did do a nice job. I think he made his shots tough. And, and then the guards did a nice job. You know, some of those downhill switches that we had, we rotated over and put a body on him. And, uh, um, you know, for the most part, I thought we did a, a pretty decent job. I and mean, we, we let 23 – uh, Reed get going uh, uh, again, but man, it's tough. These early, still, these guys are formulating their percentages and stuff, you know, as far as how they're shooting and all that. And, um, and came in and made, I think he made more threes tonight than he's made all year. So. And you guys got a few more three pointers to fall in the second half there after starting with your state, but it's still been kind of something you guys struggle with. What do you kind of attribute the three point struggles to? Uh, the shots that you want to get right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how much that we're struggling from three. I mean, I thought Julian's done a nice job. He's shooting a nice percentage. Um, uh, Rozier is shooting an incredible percentage. So, uh, you know, Jet lately has been stepping up, and, and Chet's turned down a lot of threes. I think that's hurt us uh, thus far this year. But, uh, you know, uh, the other thing, again, that, that if you really dive into the analytics on the Merrimack they don't they don't people don't shoot a high percentage against that zone they fly out and chase you off the line and they're contested and uh, so I thought we did a nice job of searching the proper way to score against it yeah yeah it sure was and, and we were getting it right where we needed to making the extra pass you know we just got to cut down on first of all we got to be strong with the ball we're getting Chet's getting the ball knocked away from him Himself way, way, way too much, and you know, then we just probably got to turn down a lot of these passing decisions we make, you know, and a lot of them's at, at the big spot. So, the game getting canceled on, on Sunday against UW. What do you do what, what, for the next nine days? Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> you know, we're, we're entering finals, so uh. Um, we study hard, and, and uh, you know, we got a heck of a test uh, coming next week against a, a really, really high-level opponent. I mean, they're probably one of the best defensive teams, I think, in the country year in and year out. It's Coach Adams' defense that, uh, you know, Tech's been running for all these years. They've been successful. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll need to prepare uh, uh, for that game, and, and then – uh, work on ourselves, but yeah, that that news was was uh, disappointing to say the least. Yeah, I bet you can kind of 
kind of relate. Last year, I think, was it four or five games you guys had canceled because of a similar reason? So, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you can relate and what's wrong over there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, hey, the COVID is, uh, you know, it's made it tough in a lot of places. It's just, it's, you know, we're fully vaccinated here and everybody's kind of re- ready to go. So I, I don't know what their situation is. I We literally haven't talked to anybody from over there. I think they just communicated to uh, uh, our athletic director. So. How did you, I mean, when you guys had last year, you didn't practice at all for a while, did you? Well, the rules were vastly different last year, okay? If, if I had it in this room, you guys would all have to quarantine for 14 days, okay? That's not what it is now. So um, it's totally, totally, totally different situations. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you, you could I, – I don't I don't know. You'd have to ask them what they've been doing. And you didn't yeah. practice until, like, two, two or three days, right, before you had it? Uh, correct. But we had, you know, I think nine players actually have it at that time. So, yeah, we had quite a going through. So, yeah. How does not playing that game change your guys' schedule for the next uh, nine days as far as practice and practice? How much prep you guys do as opposed to working with you guys? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a great uh, uh, question. I mean, I think we need to really – kind of use it to work on ourselves and, and even individual stuff, get better at, at shooting, being stronger with the ball, you know, defensively moving our feet, but, but and then begin to sprinkle in earlier than usual because playing against Tech is much like playing against this tonight. It's not something that you face, and, and it's tough to simulate that defense. It's It's... You know, a no middle de- defense, uh, Baylor's basically copied it. So it's a no middle defense and a lot of switching and a very physical uh, defense with handsy reaching and poking and fouling. And, and you just got to be tough. You gotta, so we'll have to do our best to simulate that. Any chance you guys will potentially get another game in their schedule? I mean, we'll try. Yeah, we're gonna try. We we need to try. We obviously the more games, the better. It's just hard. I mean, when you and this is really hard. I mean, how's a, a national ESPN game, right? You know, so uh, those are big games, and we've shown that we can really drive up the viewing numbers. If you look at our numbers lately, especially when we're on the national, uh, the, the big ones, and and. Uh, so we'll see, but well, yeah, we'll see. See if anybody uh, has anything available, and and uh, definitely probably won't be obviously Sunday, but we'll see if we can maybe make something happen later on in the league year or something. But that'll be tough, but we'll try. Coach, any update on uh, Dominic Harris? Yeah, I mean he's his. He had surgery on his foot, and he's progressing well. I think he's he's obviously now they're letting him walk around. Uh, with his boot, and uh, um, you know, so he's this is kind of a big week for him, kind of amping up some stuff a little bit to see how it how it goes. But it's a long, long uh, uh, process. We miss him. I mean, he was arguably our best shooter all through the off season, and a great athlete, moving his feet and all that. So that was a big loss. And nobody's really talked about. How's Caden doing? Is he going to go or is he still? No, he he. Uh, you know, his back, he had him out all, missed his high school season last year and then all through the summer and into the fall. And we had him back amped up and going, and he tweaked it again. It's kind of aggravated it to the point where uh, uh, we had to shut him down for a while, and then he's back moving again today a little bit. So, back, as you know, backs are uh, <laughs> a real pain, and they're tricky. They're just so tricky. I mean, anything can trigger them. And he was just doing individual work before the game, and it just triggered. And so, uh, yeah, so we'll see see if he can kind of get it back going again because he was moving terrifically there for, you know, six weeks. This is way off topic, but uh, one of your good friends, Mark Turgeon, uh, yeah. is no longer the coach there. How different is the landscape for coaches from when you started? I mean, that never happened 15, 20 years ago in any sport. No. They talk about mental health for all the players now is a big topic, but it's not for 
stress? No, I mean that's a great, great point, uh, Jim. I'm just, I mean, they just literally that fan base just made it so miserable that it wasn't worth it anymore, and the toll that was taken on him and his family. Uh, and then I think he could see that effect that it was even having a to taking a toll on its on his team. So. You know, I'm just one of the, those guys. I don't believe a college, you know, team or anything should ever be booed. I'm sorry, not at home. You know, on the road, I get it, but you, you should never boo college kids at, at home. I just, I, I, I got a real problem with that. So, uh, but I don't get a vote, man. You know, so the word "fans" short for fanatic. <laughs> so there you have it. Any more questions for Coach? Uh, I guess on the Harris injury, is that the thing when he comes back you guys are going to kind of evaluate? Or, um, it's a long ways from that happening. So yeah. it's a long, long ways from that happening. I mean, it's a surgery on the basically the big toe of the, and with plantar fascia kind of tied into it. He, there, there's a long way from that happening. Is that the first thing? Yeah, the zones are tricky, you know. It's hard to prep for a team that runs zone full for a full game like that. And, you know, uh, we did a great job of just moving the ball and moving the zone, and I thought uh, thought we handled it really well as a team. What do you think you were able to be so efficient down there? I think it was the first, first time in your career you've actually finished for, on the field with more than five attempts, so it was kind of working down low for you, and it was just kind of one of the, one of the nights you kind of had your touch down there. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, pretty easy when you got guys that can give you the ball right at the charge circle. I mean, I didn't have to do too much. So uh, it was just guys just finding me in the right spot, and it was just to get right to it, you know. Uh, and I work on that every day, so, you know, it was nice to see all of them go for once, which has been fun. Did you guys really hammer the, the free throw shooting after the Alabama game, 13 to 25 against them, and then 15 to 28 uh, tonight? Pretty good up from the line. No, I mean, we saw all y'all talking and stuff, but uh, we work on it every day. And guess what? Like, it's not, it's, shots aren't going to fall every single day. So, uh, you know, every time y'all just want to overanalyze and stuff, like, stuff happens. And uh, we just do what we do every day and um, just stay winning today. Your huge first half for you, 20 of your 22. Uh, did you kind of feel like, Guys were struggling a little bit to shoot, so you kind of had to pick things up a little bit, get the momentum going for you guys in there. Um, you know, uh, we just been coming out flat recently, and I just really, like, really, like before the game, just kind of just tried to lock in and get my energy up, so I could kind of be that guy that really got the team going. And um, yeah, man, their shots were they were good shots, and it's hard to hit shots against a zone like that. So uh, just by just by how they played, I was the one who happened to be open tonight. So you know, just trying to. Get uh, easy duck ins and layups, and the uh, guys found me, so it was good. Can we talk about this guy being one point away from a double double, though? Yeah. Come on. That gets me hyped. Speak away, yeah. Let's what go. What do um, I like playing against zones, honestly. Like, I feel like I can space out and pass. Literally, I just pass to this dude, and it's an assist, so it's pretty easy, I feel like, playing in the zone. And. You know, we have the experience. We played against UW Zone our freshman year, so you know, I like playing it against the zone. You had ten rebounds, uh, Chad had fifteen. You guys, I think, kind of rebounded them six to twenty. Uh, what was it like down there? Uh, you guys just getting more aggressive tonight, or was there more opportunities? You think? Uh, I think like it was a big focus this to crash the boards offensively and defensively. Um, they're not a very tall team, so I think, and they're playing zone, so. Both that, both those factors, like, just crash the boards every single time and just be aggressive. So. Anton, how much of a leap do you think you've made from first year to here to now, and, and why? What do you, what you work on? Uh, I think I made a big leap, just, just more mature and like how I'm playing. Um, my IQ, just, just seeing things way faster and just letting it, kind of settle down. Uh, I think some of the young guys, like, I was that young guy one time when it's always going fast and, like, the offense is going fast, defense is going fast, but you kind of need that dude just kind of settle everything down and just relax. So I think I just got more mature with my game. How about just more aggressive? Does that, you feel like that too? 
Yeah, more aggressive, definitely on the offensive end. Um, the team needs me to be more aggressive all the time, so it's only going to make us better. Drew, what have you seen from the man time the last two years? Kind of the same question for you. I've just seen someone who just got their confidence and swagger back and at an all-time high. I mean, he's, he's had to battle some injuries and stuff, and, I, and that's not easy, and he's done a great job of just putting the work in and just coming to practice every day ready. And, you know, uh, we, we have to have him score, and we have to have him play hard and do what he does because he's such an X factor for us. And uh, he's really just done a great job that this year, and especially just kind of talking about his maturity. I mean, he's really just – the game's slowed down for him. He's way more confident. He's looking to score now. He's not deferring as much, and it's we couldn't be more happy with that because we have to have that. He's been doing a really good job with that. Thanks, brother. <laughs> of course, Remy. <laughs> as of right now, you're going to be off for the next nine days. How do you manage – well, I mean, uh, I've said this a lot before. Our practices, some of our practices are harder than the games. You know, we got we got a lot of guys that could start at a lot of different programs. So uh, we get after it every day, you know, especially him and I. We'd be going at it a lot. So uh, there's no problem with that. I mean, we be, we go out of that practice. Coach pushes us hard. And, um, yeah, we don't we don't take stuff lightly on each other. I know him and I, you know, we go out of it a lot. Chad, KP, Ben, like, just within the bigs, and then the guards always go at it, you know. And um, Coach does a good job of making us compete against each other, and uh, it's fun. So I, I don't think we'll have a problem with that. We're just going to keep doing what we do. Right now, it's the ice on your hand. Is that something new, or, or is that something that's going to uh, I just made so many jump hooks, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah. my hand's on fire. I'm going to cool it down. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like on that, though, we should probably yeah, it's important, but I think it's more important just to get the win and just be a leader. And you don't always got to score to be a leader. Um, but it's definitely something part of my game that I want to improve and keep getting better, keep getting better at. So, um, you know, we got the dub. That's all that really matters, though. One of your Nah, he he's a dog, and you know I love to see that from him. Um, and he was a walk on at one point, so it just shows all the hard work he's put in. You know, 509 native. You know, you love to see it, man. Have you talked to him since the Apple Cup? Before? Yeah, I talked to him a little bit and. Uh, Devin Colt, they're like best buds too. So, you know, I talked to both of them, and you know, it's it's been cool to see them go off. Thanks, guys. Nice. Same.